So today they sent us to check out these E2 controllers. This one, the screen is blank. The door is broken. It's being held together by tape as you can see. It's a bad shape. The other controller looks good, but as soon as you open the door you can see also the door is broken. Now, for 25 cents a day, you can make a difference in this E2 controller's life. So please, call this number. Help an E2 in need today. Yeah, there's no way I'm helping them. So today we're actually just gonna replace these controllers. We got the new ones right here. Right now I'm gonna connect to this one, even though the screen is blank. I'm gonna back up the program. Do the same one as this one as well. As you can see the buttons, they're not functioning. You can see that they just get stuck. Like right there, number one got stuck. So the contractor here is just struggling with this store. So we're gonna put some new controllers in there for them. So right now I'm going to connect to the controller, Let's hit ignore, I'm not connected to the other one. So I'm in it, so I'm just going to pull the inventory from the controller with the blank screen. I'm going to back it up now. So now I have the program, so when I load up the new ones, I'll have it. So I like to do my programming when it's not already mounted on the wall. So right now I just have a transformer 120 to 24 volts to power up the E2. So you can see it's coming on. I program it here so I can just put them in and then turn the switch on. So I'm going to switch this controller to number two. So I have two RXs, one and two. So I do this before I load the program so there'll be no confliction. So I want to have two number one controllers. So this is number two, reset yes, should reset in a little bit. There you go. So here I got my boy, I'm gonna call him El Raider. So right now he's gonna import the program that we backed up. So he imported it. He's gonna validate the set points. Put yes. Next step he's going to do, well first he's going to value put yes. It's pretty much the old firmware is older, so he's going to go to a 410 firmware now. So he hit yes, and now he's going to actually hit restore to load the program into the blanky 2 So it's taking it, it's loading up the program. So it should be loading up right now, resetting with the new program. And uh, there it is, so the new program's in. Both controllers are already programmed, so all we have to do right now is pull the old ones off and put these ones on to hit the switches, and it should be good. So this is when we say goodbye to this controller, barely hanging on there with tape and everything. And I just want to say, remember, you can make a difference. You can. Just kidding. We're going to rip these off and put new ones in. So now you're going to see my EMS and training El Raider and the government go to town on these ones. So that was probably 20 minutes of downtime for the rack, so now it's up and running. In here, just to show you the condition of the old one, it was really just being hanged on by those two wires right there for the monitor, but you couldn't even see it, it was just completely dark. So I don't even know how they were able to work on this rack. Same with this one, I mean the buttons, I don't know, they must have been really struggling with this door. There you go, same here, probably 15-20 minutes of just downtime for the rack. 
So everything's hooked up, the cat file, the communication, the power, the IO network, up and running. So this one's for the old Echelon. They're not using that from controller to controller. Now it's just Cat5. Now the contractor won't have to struggle so much. I was going to take off the sticker, but I let the goat man do it. It's his first controller, so that's the best feeling right there. Once you're done with everything, that's just the best right there. Now for my boy Raider to do the other one since he did most of the work on that one. There you go, cherry pop. So now just teaching the new generation to do these controllers, program them, installing them. So everything is back online. No alarms. Brand new RX 400. Communication is good. The only thing I didn't record was I actually put in them on the Ethernet network and then put them on the group name so they have to be in the same group name to communicate but we did all that we called Emerson that we're able to communicate and look up the controller so we're good you always want to hang back a little bit at least watch it for an hour so you don't want to just take off because in case something pops up or any warm or didn't take all the program so you just want to watch it for a little bit and here's those little controllers man those little guys are hanging in there well, thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe, leave a like, and I uh, hope you enjoyed.